give it a few more minutes to yeah, let yeah. people join us. Hi, Davina. Davina's here to hold space. Oh, brilliant. That's How many pets? She is, um, and I appreciate that. She's she's an aspect of Kwan Yin, so her energy is really strong. That's good. Hi, Celia. Hi, Noni and family. It's good to see you, Jackie, or Jordan. I didn't. I wasn't sure how many would um, would come with their pets today, so I'm very excited. This is the first time we're doing this. Yeah. If anybody, if they're having trouble getting the pets to, to, so we can see them, you can always take a picture. Yes, and we'll bring up and the if picture. It is, that'll make it easier. All right. So, um, of course, we're going to look at Chopper. Chopper's our buddy. <laughs> Poor old Chopper. He's just this ear business. I don't know. I just don't know. He's being bribed right now. <laughs> Deb, a lot of his, Deb and Rick, I think a lot of his is going to come down. Underlying cause is going to be allergy, but we have to overcome the ear infection before we can address the allergies, I think. Archangel Michael is saying that um, Archangel Michael is saying he's been overtreated. He's been overtreated with medication. Yes. And it's, it's it's exasperated. Yes, I can I can believe that. But okay. get that light out of the way. Here. Can you hold here for me just a second? Chopper. Chopper. Look at that. Chopper. Come on, Chopper. Look at that. Oh, he just said, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, come on, don't go. Sit down. Hey, hey, we've already gotten it. Yeah. Okay. All right, you can go. It's helpless. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to put in the, um, the white light in heart that's turning to molten gold and going through it, his whole system. So every time his heart beats, he's going to get that golden energy through all of his bloodstream. Um, he's got the, uh, it's going to go into the ears as, as well, of course. Oops. Okay, let's Putting it, we're putting it, green energy of, in the ear, both ears actually, into the ear canals, all the way through, into his sinuses, into his nose, all in through here, because it's like a dripping even. He's got it going into his throat. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, all down here. Yeah. The double whammy going in, with the healing energy going into his sinuses and down into his ear canals, all into his throat. But he's also got the golden energy going through his heart, the molten gold, the white energy of, of Creator. So it's got it. He's got it pumping through his whole system. That's going to be a week long. So every time his heart beats, that molten gold's going through him, through every organ. Can you try and avoid doctors and while this is going on for the next week, or does he have appointments? He has an appointment for Friday. Okay, well, that's good. So at least it gives him five days of this. And then, and that way, by then, doctors should see a big improvement with these healing energies. Do you see any physical blockages in the ears? Or do you where they can't drain? Or is it just because his ears flap over? Or is there an underlying allergy, be it food, be it grass, be it snacks? Angel Michael saying his allergy is medication, over medication, pharmaceuticals. His body can't take this anymore. So we're going to work on the healing the body so he doesn't have to take the medications. Good. Is there anything I can do to help flush his body, not his ears? I can, I'm, I'm not touching his ears, but like push liquids or push chicken soup or bless his, bless his food, bless his water like you bless your own and do it with him. Okay. He's a good boy. How does his aura look? His what? Aura. aura. How aura? Does it... His aura is perfect. <laughs> okay. 
he is who he is and he can't there's nothing that he he is just the way he's supposed to be in this life he was there for you and your husband and no animal would put up with that much pain unless he was destined to be for us it's exactly right yes we realize that every day we do we realize that every day we're thankful for that every day he's he loves uh, he loves the two of you like, like you love him that's good. i mean believable his love for you okay uh, i thank you i can't wait to meet him <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet him either. He'll be like, what? Oh my goodness. He loves love. You know, he just loves love. He'll probably drive you crazy, but that's okay. Uh, not going to drive me crazy. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. He's the animal whisperer. He'll go to him before me. <laughs> they all go to him. <laughs> well, we have a kitty too that would, um, for, for Rick to love on. So go to him. <laughs> a really, he's a loving kitty, but he's, he's very Listen. healthy. He's, Birds and the horses go to me. So. Okay. Well, I thank you guys ever so much. Eternally grateful. You're welcome. Thank Always. you. Uh, David? Say hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. What's her name? Gala. Gala? Yes. Gala. Gala. I, I can't always see the... She's looking down. There we go. I'm going to just see her eyes. Hi, Gala. Who's that? That's okay. Yeah, I think you didn't put her down. Okay. Okay, we're going right to her bladder and her... Okay, thank you. Okay. We're healing her urinary tract, her bladder. Now we're going to her kidneys. And then we're going in her mouth, doing her gums and her teeth and her ears. Yes, you got all of those correct. And her throat. And we're going to do her the pads of her, her pads. She's got a skin condition. And remember, this could be future too. So we're going to do any future. She's got a little bit of dry skin. Yes, yes. We're going to put, um, add some um, coconut oil to her and maybe add to her food. You, or you can rub a little bit on her, a little bit. I mean, you don't yeah. need too much on her fur because it, it's very, um doesn't hurt them to lick it. Coconut right. oil, eat a little bit in their ear and rub it in their ear. Um, put it in their food. You yeah. can put it in their food. They, they, I, I rub it on my legs when my legs are dry. The okay. cats lick it off. They like it, <laughs> and it, I, I, I let them because it's um. You could get cats and dog can have coconut oil. Um, what else? Oh, she also loves you very much. She, yes, bless her food and water. Bless her food and water. Mm. Is she in her cat? Or does she go outside? She's an indoor cat, yes. She doesn't litter. Um, she has a litter tray. She doesn't uh, like her litter. <laughs> no, she does it all over the floor sometimes. She doesn't like it. Um, do you use like the, the um, clay litter? It's the sort of white granules. Okay. She doesn't like it. Okay. Um, Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you have available there. Um, we got this kind of, um, it's, um, I buy it online. It's, uh, it's got uh, crushed walnuts in it. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit better for them. It doesn't have the dust. Okay. They, I'll look for it. They can't inhale it that way. It's less dusty. Um, okay. and it's by, you can throw it in your yard. It's biodegradable. Okay. Put it in your grass and turn it over like a like compost it. Um, and she's just giving me that message. She doesn't like her litter. It doesn't. She doesn't feel good. It doesn't make her her chest breathing. She's telling me. She, she loves you very much. She's sending you love and energy to your heart. Thank you. This isn't the first time that you've had this uh, cat with you. She's, oh, this is, um, she was reincarnated. You had her as a pet. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you've, um, you've other life together. So it was when, and she was a cat at another time. She's okay. been, um, she's been a bird, a rabbit, a fox. 
Uh-huh. A skunk. A skunk. Right. <laughs> um, an eagle. And um, some other, I don't recognize that. Anyway, she's been very, she, animals done. This, she, but she's been yours. That, she, this is our only one other time she's been yours. And it wasn't cat, so it must have been when you were 22. Okay, yes, yes. Yes. Are you able to send her healing, please? She's been healed. That's everything that I mentioned, she's been healed of. Okay. Thank you. And then that's what... Yeah. And can you tell me how to, bless, how to bless her food, please? Um, picture white energy, white light uh, from the creator's energy, white. And the words love on there, on the water. Like if you have her bowl of water, you picture white energy and the words love being written like L-O-V-E and the same thing with her food. You can do the whole house if you want to. That way the whole house is blessed and all the water and all the food in the house. But you can go on and you just be thankful for the food and the and the uh, the water. Be thankful. Thank you. Thank you. We're always thankful for what we're provided. Very simple. And we're thankful for each other. Thank you. I am. Yeah, we're recording it on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Is there any other questions, David? Um, I can't you think of any. Thank you. That, that's that's okay. fine. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Let's see who's next. Celia. Celia. Pickle and pepper. <laughs> You're so cute. Pickle and pepper. <laughs> I think Victoria is next. Okay. Oh. Yeah, for Bobby. Is that right, Victoria? Yes. Bobby. Okay, I think Victoria is next. And then I'm next after Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hello, guys. This is... Okay, one second. I'll, I'll see if I can handle him over here. He's like laying down on his belly. And he gets shy. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Bobby. Yes. Okay, come on, come on. Bobby. I didn't brush him, Bobby. so he's not as handsome as he should be. Hi, Bobby. Yeah, I just want to scan on him, possible, and you know, you know the events that took place. Gave him some healing, and he's a lot better. He's like running around like like an Olympic Olympian yesterday. It was crazy, but yeah, maybe, maybe. It wasn't any skill or either. Because they're trying to get you, so they get creatures around, you know, things that you you adore. So they're not really going for you, dog. They're going for you. But they're doing it in a roundabout way. So you just need to take. I saw something that came in last night in the middle of the night, and um, it was it was this black energy with this you know, kind of I don't know. Um, like I said, I see a lot of this, and and it happened. Um, I, I, so I know something is going on with him because of that. But I just, um, it, it was black and it had, it was kind of circular, like it's not an orb, but it had a certain pattern. Is that the thing that you saw? It, it was, it reminded me of something that wasn't as alien. It's not reptile, you know, like more, well, no, I mean, it could be like, it's more alien than demonic, you know. Yes, it is. Um, well, the, uh, you say that the contacts are more frequently, you know? I've noticed that as the vibrations increasing, you're getting souls that are escaping and you're getting dark energies coming out more. Mm-hmm. Uh, last night's event, we had four, which was a very strange event last night. It's happening a lot. I, I've, I've got uh, someone else in India that's got an entity. So they're coming out and attaching on our life. Yeah, yeah. But, but yours was, well, yours was a bit different. Yours was more uh, to get you. Yeah, I, I, I saw that, um, you know, there's some family unrest, like this for certain people uh, mm-hmm. recently. And, you know, all these are caused by the negative energies, if you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's part of just carrying light and being there because, you know, you attract those things, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're, you're the uh, you're the machine in the restaurant that's attracting the flies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of, really. Um, you know, um, uh, Bobby had gone through an ordeal, which was kind of hard to keep him alive so many times because he keeps getting attacked to protect me. And um, he uh, that, that, that did a healing for him, and uh, you know, he had collapsed. 
when I was pulling him to cry because he was refusing, he was trying to cross the road. You know when you cross the road, there's cars and you need to press the light, right? And, you know, he didn't want to wait for the light. And normally he's really well behaved. And I tell him just like, to sit, he'll wait at the light. But he just went straight out. But I saw this beforehand. I saw that he was dying. He was collapsing. He was gasping for air. His limbs were like, you know, when your dog dies, the limbs are really... And then... So I saw him die before the event, okay? And I saw my other dog, who's uh, been gone for years, and she was smiling sitting next to the corpse. So I expected, um, and then I also had three knocks that came in by, by one of someone who was basically trying to test me on uh, one, of, one of the uh, beings. And he, um, you know, a few weeks later, that incident took place with collapse and gas in the air. And he basically, his, his mouth was just going into like almost like a seizure or worse than a seizure. He just, his, his limbs were lifeless because he could breathe. And I had, he was outside when it all happened. So it was kind of freaking, freaking out. Well, I'm, I'm, I was praying and trying to heal him and praying. And I put my finger in him to open his mouth so he could breathe and he was able to breathe. But I almost lost him, like really almost lost him at that time. And I also understand that at that time that, you know, I think we were, you with that entity or that person, whatever it called, that being, and, you know, for my space. And um, he, this whole thing was, like I saw beforehand, it, you know, so I knew this is going to happen. And now, um, you know, we got this, and this is kind of normal because, you know, it seems to have a lot, but, you know, entities coming for my sake and, and he protects me. But how do I say it? Um, is there some reason to be concerned with, you know, his health? Like, he, I know he's healthy overall, but you know that, that dream I had, seeing him like that, that really, um, you know, raised some questions, like, you know, he is 13 and, you know, he, you know, don't know when he's going to go, especially with the trachea collapse. Should I be concerned about that? Uh, well, I would consider is uh, trying to raise, raise his frequency. I bet he got a frequency attack and that's why he became really ill. And you released the frequency, basically. He got a low frequency attack. Uh, it's a lot of low frequencies about at the moment, even though there's a lot of high vibrations as well. It's like a, it's like a, a battle. Yes, you, yes. You, you, were, you were just in that predicament. I, I know I'm not supposed to do it, but you got blessings on the card, so you're being looked after. So. <laughs> You're not supposed to pull out a card or something? <laughs> I pulled a card out for it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very blessed and I'm in gratitude for that. Yes, I understand. Um, you just ask for help. Yes. The, angel. the angels come instantly. They come really yeah. fast when I'm in trouble. And yeah. um, they, they never fail. It's like, like whenever he's in trouble. You also did a very good job of healing him because um, there's nothing wrong with him. I try. But you, yes, but you, you're doing a really, really good job because there's nothing for us to heal. All I did was uh, I saw something around him that was negative, and that's why I have to get Phil to help me because mm -hmm. I'm, we're, we're healers. We don't remove curses or I mean I, I don't I, I don't know how to do it. I was never trained in that, and thank God we we have Phil to, to um, help us with those things. I don't have any knowledge. Rick and I don't have any knowledge, you know. There's, I, there's always these beings that come, like different beings on a regular basis. And when we, we had, um, in Vancouver, we had this heat dome on the west coast of Canada. Yes. And well, the things I saw was quite amazing. Um, anyways, I saw the dome and I saw the energies of the dome that was trapped in. Like, um, it was that time that a lot of animals died, you know, not just people. I think there was like 700 something people died from the heat wave and related. It was like, it was like 40 something, 50 degrees, which I don't, that is in, you know, in Fahrenheit, but it was really hot. You it's double it. You, you double it and I'm first. <laughs> okay. Better knowledge, 130 I was. Yeah. Oh. 
I don't, it's not that hot here. <laughs> yeah, I thought Arizona would be like you guys have a little small little desert be like a place, uh, like you know, dry weather over there. But you know, it was really crazy that little while. And I almost lost him. Like he survived the, the heat. It was just that moment. And it was just that moment because I'm not sure it was it was, if he was having a um, kind of like a soul he had to leave and then another one come in because he did that before and um, um, so was that incident related to the was that incident related to something dark that happened do you know the, you know crossing the road that time that where I almost lost him or was this just part of his plan his whole you know, thing I, I don't know <laughs> uh, to try and find that information I think it's the last part but I do I do know the weather's been manipulated in a very big big way absolutely yeah. a big way we, we know that yeah we yeah. don't um, we don't want to say too much about these things you know but yeah mm. but yeah a lot of a lot of issues been happening since that period of time and 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 it's you know it's visible with my family i mean i people are just like getting triggered and going crazy and it yeah, is it, it, if you think about it the frequencies change weather the frequencies can change us as well so it can manipulate us yeah uh, yeah, yeah I, I understand that i'm glad that i'm more or less constant but uh, not able to to really dip too low but this is really the lowest i've been in a long time in generation and um, yeah so yeah definitely i think if i raise my vibration just maintain it higher a little bit he'd probably be safer mm, yeah. okay well we need to oh, thank you Next group. Yeah. we've got time more healing to do it's so good to see you celia yep i'm gonna show a picture i don't okay, hold on one there second go. Oh, that's pickle and pepper. I don't know which one's on the left. Uh, that's pickle. Doing him first. Does a bird have a urinary tract? That's what I'm getting a message of is that they're, they're healing it. Oh, well, he fell from the top of the, the second floor straight down to um, a concrete floor because my husband was chasing him to give him some energy or to give him, yeah. But I think he was exhausted and just <laughs> fell in front of me, right? And then he had a big bruise on top of his eye for like a week. And I gave him some um, liquid minerals and uh, oxygenated water to, just to make sure. Well, I went to his one side. Not sure it has anything to do with the fall. Are his wings clipped? Uh, we haven't clipped it for for a long time, but we used to clip it. Yeah. So he was able to fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was okay. How did yeah. You... Right now, I don't see any any indication that he's not okay. But we're afraid to to um, kind of let him fly and chase him because you know her heart was doing this like when I picked him up. Yeah. I don't see any, there's nothing physically. Okay, um, that's good, yeah. Um, I don't see anything from the fall or anything like that. Um, just the urinary tract. Yeah, for some reason there was some healing that was needed there. Um, some healing on the beak. Other than that, the bird's very, very healthy. I wanted them to eat some like veggies and fruits like other birds would do but they mm -hmm. don't want to they just uh, throw it out of their cage <laughs> fresh yeah fresh have you tried hand feeding them and, and try like you eat a piece of banana or a peel a banana and take a bite and then try and share it with them because yeah, i did yeah uh-huh but they won't it's mine and that's the time they'll eat it because <laughs> if i'm eating it and they'll go oh okay, I'll, let me try some <laughs> Let me try it. Stop and put it in there. Yeah. Now. Like they toss it out. 
if I get, then they want a bite of mine. Ah, okay. I'll try that again. And they love um, apricots. Love apricots. Oh. Like I can only get them a couple, like one time a year. And peaches. They love peaches. Ah, okay. Really ripe peaches. They don't like them when they're hard. But oh uh, yeah, right. I try those and um, I didn't cantaloupe. I don't think it's enough, but cantaloupe. I can't remember. You have to look up and see what's good for them and what's okay. not good for them. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Um, I buy um, I I couldn't get it in the store anymore. I have to send away for it. It says tropical fruit mix for them. Oh, I got that. Yeah. With the dried cranberry and dried stuff. Yeah, it has walnuts in it, but yeah. it, mm -hmm. too small for the walnuts. I ended up giving that to the rabbits, the wild rabbits out front. Mm -hmm. But um, it's only the one on the left that needed healing. The one on the right, um, so pepper seems to be fine. Yeah, no healing needed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's she's the one that doesn't. She's just calm. She's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, they're sweet now. They're so sweet. They talk? Well, they're they chirping right now. <laughs> they're getting my attention. Yeah. They'll talk. You have to repeat, repeat, repeat for them to... Well, they mimic... Um, I have a timer when I'm doing my wash. Um, I soak my... <laughs> and they know that when the timer beeps, I go rush to the thing to turn it off, and so they will mimic it to get my attention, to, to get me to rush to their cage. <laughs> <laughs> How do they do that? They, they were doing it earlier when you were healing um, Bobby, and they were doing that, so. Yeah, yeah. I mimic me too, when I make noises, yeah. When I play a game with them, yeah. I go peekaboo. Uh, they just do one part of it though. <laughs> okay, that was good. They're really good. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Okay. Jordan. Hello. Hi. Uh, I have Yara here. She came right over. Um, sis. Oh. Hi. Oh. Yara. Um, was diagnosed with severe anxiety to the point where they had her on medication 24 seven. Um, you, you have to stand up dear. Yes, your legs work. Um, and if you hadn't noticed, she likes to be in my skin 24 seven, like attached at the hip. What's her name? Yara. 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 Hey. Yara. Yara. Tell me about relationship you've had in the past. Uh, relationship in the past? My relationship? Did you have an abusive relationship in the past? Uh, not physically, not that I think can think of. I mean, uh, with Nothing. my, uh, like with my father. The dog has an attack. I've never seen an animal with an attachment. Dog has an attachment. I'm trying to figure out what kind. So I asked you if it was an abusive something. Is your father still alive? Yes. Do you still have a relationship with him? Yes. Because there's something that is attached that's taking it out on, it's like an attachment to your, on your dog to get to you. Again, here we go. Why are they doing this to these poor animals? Phil, I'm glad you're here. I cannot tell if it's a form or if it's a physical attachment of some kind of um, whether you want to work or not, Phil. Today you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, Phil was my brother in, in, in uh, another life, so he owes me. I fished him out of the river. He was Moses and I was Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret, that one. <laughs> it's not, <anymore. laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
on the tail around the, her, the butt area. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's attached to you because she knows she's trying to protect you she's taking a bullet for you that's why that's why she's all over you she's she'd rather have this than have you have it. Mm -hmm. this is her message she'd take all the anxiety for all the world and rather have it than you have it We're gonna make it better. It's very well, that's very weird, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's very weird. Whatever it's, it's, like, what? it's not normal. Not normal. It's like I can't. <sighs> and it's gone. It was like an attachment stroke parasite. <laughs> I'm gonna have to study that one tonight. Be okay. Yeah, I don't understand how people can do this to animals. Thank you. I'm so lost. Can you scan a no. scan a now? Okay, so I'm gonna heal her emotionally from the trauma of that. And that she's really health physically. Thank you. So the anxiety was just mine. The uh, no, it was no, it was an attachment, uh, an attachment over her that was given to her by somebody. And I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make an assumption that it was somebody that was trying to get to you, but they were getting to you from your dog. They were, they were your dog. Hmm. Intentionally, because they some people go well hurt your dog because they they knew it they know it it will affect you yeah. because you love your dog. Hmm. So it it affects you emotionally and financially because you're bringing your dog to the to the vet and you're spending hmm. hours trying to figure out how to take care of your dog. Right. right. Okay. Well, thank you both. Thank all of you. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm sure Yara really appreciates it also. She's coming back to make her rounds. You'll see a big difference in her. Thank you. You're welcome. She just said thank you. <laughs> she seems calmer already, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, you'll see it's completely different now. Thank you. She's just telling you how much I, she's telling you I love you so much. and. She said I would do it over and over just for you. That's that's her love. And she said thank you to us. You're welcome. I'm telling her. You're welcome. You'll see a big difference and it'll continue. The healing always continues um, for six days. So she's gonna be amazing. Thank you. I definitely look forward to, to seeing the results now. Definitely keep you guys posted. Okay. okay. I'm not sure who iPhone is that needs their dog scan. I think that was Victoria when she hasn't changed her name. Oh, okay. No, that was me. Oh. That, was, that was my iPhone version. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's your dog? Oh, really? right, to, to try and get him here, I've got a piece of bread. And it's healthy bread. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to use this. He's already here. Uh, come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. My other end. <laughs> What's his name? Bruno. Bruno. Uh, sit. Sit down. Oh, he's a. Uh... He likes his breath. <laughs> Going to his ears, his bladder, kidneys. Uh, and his colon. Uh, come on. Can he go now? Uh, yes, yeah, he can go. He's an older dog? He is quite old. 
Yeah, this is, um, he's got old man stuff going on, so it's some normal stuff that's <laughs> people our age, my age, our age going through. So we're doing um, healing. He's been got a little bit of, um, I want to say he's got uh, a little bit of dementia going on. He, when we got him, we got him from uh, a dog's arm and he had, they had a, a brain operation, so I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, I think he's 12 at the moment, but I, I've changed his uh, age to eight. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> oh, he looks really good for 12. Yeah, that's because I've, I've changed his age. Yeah, he's yeah. um. So I'm doing uh, I'm doing some tune-up work in his brain and his organs. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. And I think, before I forget, after I'm done with him, um, Rick wants to tell you what he's, I think you were showing him what was going on last night. Uh, remind me, or remind us. So you may see him drink a lot of water this week. So I'll be there for another six days. Mm -hmm. He only likes toilet water. He doesn't like water in the bowl. like water? He, only, he likes toilet water. He doesn't like normal water. Cause it's, yeah, it's because it's cold. I don't know mm. what. The dogs like the, the the coldness of the water. I don't understand. I get it. I get it. And it's up higher than the floor. Mm -hmm. That's why, too. It's up higher. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> so, my guys just told me, because it's up higher. <laughs> it's not <laughs> flat on the floor. Okay, he's done. He's good. You got any anything from him for me or? Uh, yeah. He likes your walks. Yeah, I don't do it a lot. <laughs> That's probably why he likes them. Yeah. No. He's showing me the, the walks in the in the woods. You take him for walks in the woods? Yeah. About once a week. He likes those. Did you just feel the energy you sent to your heart? Mm -hmm. A little bit, like a draft. Oh, he was a squirrel. <laughs> he just showed me a picture of his past life. A squirrel, a rabbit. He was also an eagle. And a con conure? Conure? What's a conure? Is that a bird? A bird, right? I think so. I think it's not quite said to that, but I know what you mean. Conure? It's a bird. Yeah. It's a big bird, isn't it? A really large bird? No? Oh, you're on mute. Is that Celia? It's like a medium-sized parrot. Bigger than a bigger than a love bird. Oh, okay. Same size as a cockatiel, but oh. it has no yeah, but the tail is short. <laughs> oh he was a, and he was also a fox. He likes running after foxes and cats. Well <laughs> he, he he was one. Interesting. Does he like to hurt them or just run after them? Uh, he, he runs after them, but if you start, he gets a bit confused what he does next. <laughs> he once ran into, uh, he ran after a cat and he hit him. And the cat jumped above and he ran right into this, it's one of the neighbor's garages doors. <laughs> so, all flow. Couldn't stop in time. And then the cat stayed and watched. <laughs> He does have a fear of uh, fireworks, but I think most dogs do. But when we first got, got, got him, he was actually outside when we lit a firework off, so that was my fault. <laughs> he, 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 he ran away for three miles. Uh, luckily, uh, luckily, he was in a kennel, and uh, I managed to get him that night. But he ran too fast, like But since then, he's been out of fear of fireworks. Or well, bangs, even the bangs, put him under the table. He's not quite a brew now. Okay, that's all I've gotten so far. Okay. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Thank you for your help. Who's next? I think that's all, Deb. But um, I have a question when you finish checking, but I think that's your list. Yeah, I think you're right. Is there anybody that I missed? No. Deb. I know. It's me. Noni, I I'd like to get a... Where? Who's talking? Joan. Joan. Hi, Joan. Hi, there, David. Hi. I would like to get a ice can for my dog. Okay. Come on. Queen. Queen. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's laying down. <laughs> there you go. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
係咁樣。咁係唔可以利是。Keep it going with your best. There you go. Your name? Ah, Queen. Queen. Yes, Queen. So hi. <laughs> Keeps disappearing. Right, <laughs> but you got her. But I need to get the energy. <laughs> okay. Let me take out that red. Okay. Okay, you can let her go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Her heart is being healed. Oh. <laughs> Heart muscles being healed. She had.、Um, it's almost like a heart murmur. She、mm-hmm. is a heart murmur. So the timing was off. So he healing and correcting the heart, and also doing a healing on the bladder. And then there's some a issue with her spine. She's got a couple problems with a couple of her teeth. Doing healing in her mouth, in her ears. Yeah. And that's it. That's all I'm、oh, getting. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, John. Okay. Anybody else? I think the one.、Um, Frank and Selina is next, and then Wendy, and then Nani, and then Sophie. Okay. Actually,、uh, Nani is. They're gonna、um, have a private、uh, session with us right after this. I see. Okay. Hi. So it's it's my turn. Hi. Hi. Hello. This is my.、Um, one second. He just went for a walk. So, right there. What's your name? That's Joey. Okay.、Uh, she says she. Okay, I've got it. Has Joey had some kind of trauma? Um, I don't know if you can call it trauma, but she had some uh, uh, on the left hips, on the left hip. Did she have anything on her head?、Mm, no, not. It would.、Um, we had a our third dog pass away last Friday, probably, and the other two dogs were there when it happened. It's an 18 year old、um, dog. Maybe that is the trauma. She's, she doesn't know how to process it. She doesn't understand. Do you talk to your dogs like、um, they understand things?、Uh, yeah. We do.、Uh, Joey is a very, very smart、uh, lab. She and very, very、um, giving. Very, very giving. Yes.、Um, but when it happened, you know, they were around. She would come and sniff and smell every part of the of、uh, the name of the one who passes Banga. And I would see her going. You know, somewhere very, very quiet and very, very corner of the home. And but that's the only thing that I have, you know. But otherwise, just... I'm trying to explain to her that、um, that Manga's、um, soul is still alive. That they, that they cross over. That they reincarnate. We all reincarnate. You know, these the dogs will are. The body may have have gone to have died, but the soul is is infinite. You know, all animals are infinite beings, just like humans are. And that's you know, you need to help her process this. That、um, because they they love unconditionally. They they don't know anything but love. They they don't know hatred. They don't understand hatred. 
they don't, they don't. I mean, they can get angry, but it immediately goes away um, unless they're taught it. That just like those fighting, fighting dogs are, it's only because they're taught that way. In your house, there's only love for these animals. You know, they only know love. So the loss was something that your your dog didn't had no concept of processing this. So I'm trying to explain to her that you know your 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 pup has moved on, but, but they're just in the next room. Her soul is not far. Because they can see your angels and your guides in your house, but they're not seeing the pup. Right. You know, they expect to see her like the guides and your angels, but they can't see the puppy. You know, they wanted to see. She can't understand why they can't see her, their puppy, the one that moved on. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> they will eventually. <laughs> They're going through, you know, she's going through her, the, what they go through in their processing. So health-wise, so, her his health just, wise, yeah. you don't see anything. Um, yeah, we're going to do some healing. There's some scar tissue and in the hips and the legs and. Father wants to do the uh, the same healing that we did on earlier on for um, the older dog. There's an energy. His energy goes into the heart. It goes in. It's white, crystalline, and then it turns into molten gold. So every time your dog's heart beats, it, the golden energy will go through every, through the bloodstream into every organ in the body uh, for the next six to seven days. So every time. It, it goes in white crystalline energy. Your dog's going to feel this energy like a warmth going through. Um, it's starting in the next few minutes. So every time he breathes, or the heart beats, pump, golden energy goes through the body into every vein, in every muscle, every tendon, and through the every organ of the body, through the head, the ears. If you can picture it, when your heart beats, and it go, if the blood flows through the body, it's going to be golden energy healing every part of the body. And that's what's going to happen with this dog. So it's creator energy. And it's going through, I can see it. I can see the inside. When I see, when Rick's energy, it goes, and creator's energy goes into my husband. My husband joined with creator. So he scans the dog and I get the downloaded information. I actually see the inside of your dog's body and I can see the energy going into the heart right now. So I see this white crystalline energy going into the heart muscle right now. And as it goes in white, it pumps out golden, molten gold. Oh, good. So your dog is feeling this warmth go through and pump in this golden energy. So after the six or seven days that this is, and it, he's telling me it'll be seven days, it'll just fade. It just will be absorbed into the body. So it will be like nothing, you know, like it'll be just fading in. After this goes through, it'll actually go through the crown, outside the crown, and six feet around your dog and heal all the causal bodies, the outer bodies, layers of it. It actually heals the outside of the body for six feet. So any damage that ever happened to the outside of the body and the chakras, everything's being healed, everything. So your, your, your dog's gonna feel like a puppy. That's nice. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, and just a little bit, this is Bullet. What's the name of this pup? Bullet. 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 She was also around when that thing happened, and they were buddies. They were, you know, playing buddies and emotionally um, very sad, very very sad. Yeah, I've got it. You don't have to hold it up anymore. I've got it. this one's um, just devastated, very sad. Not at. She's she's just sad. She's not emotionally distraught. She's just very sad. She doesn't have the trauma like the other one, but she's just she she's showing just a sadness, like mourning, almost like a mourning. But she's got um she's got sinus um sinus issues, almost like allergies. So we're gonna do some healing in their in her a couple times a year. Does she get the sinus, the runny eyes, the nose? Oh uh, well, she, yeah, she she has a lot of you know um, discharge from the eyes. It's probably I, it's just a couple times. Yeah, 
yeah, she's got allergies and our cats get the same thing. It's, it's just a few times a year. It's something in the air, something blooming that they get it from. She has very bad um, dental. Uh, she's a rescue dog. We rescued her eight years, nine years ago. Eight years ago. Um, do healing in her sinuses and um, we did something we did it in her mouth father's saying that uh, we her mouth it may be we're not sure if the if the mouth is gonna it's just not sure if they it, it may be way too for that they they're pretty bad her teeth maybe it's pretty bad in her mouth but let's hope He's doing, wow, he's doing another, he's trying another uh, healing. <laughs> I'm giving him a hard time. <laughs> so, wait a minute, you're creator. <laughs> he said, well, this dog wasn't my design. <laughs> he said, they were playing around. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> <laughs> when we picked her up before, it looks like she must have had a history of abuse or something, probably. Because, yeah, she, yeah, she was scared of men. Big baby. Specifically with mustache. Oh. Well, she's very happy where she is now. She's sending you just these, these, these love. I can see these hearts going towards you from her heart to yours. Oh, thank you. Oh. They do communicate. Their eyes communicate. Do you notice how her eyes send you these love energies? Yes, yeah. They do. Especially, yeah, that's too, yeah. They they send you love. So, I mean, you, you can't help but tell, but tell that they love you when they look you in the eye. Then she does. Okay, he put, he put a, um, another energy, the same that they put in the heart, the golden. He put the golden energy in her mouth. Yeah. That should make a difference. But she's in good shape. You've done very well with her. She's um, she's so devoted. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very well. Okay. Wendy. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Here's my good. little buddy. Hang on, Cosmo. What? What's his name? Cosmo. Hi, Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmo. <laughs> Did you scatter it up? I got him. Okay. <laughs> He's got more interest in the trees right now. <laughs> He's doing, uh, Father's doing healing in his, um, his uh his bowel and his colon area I'm filling that pup in that he said, little dry skin other than that again did he gives you um the eyes of love He's another one that's very devoted. Aww. He's in good shape, Wendy. What can about you, his... Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Oh, what about his emotional state? He seems to be... I mean, so many dogs have this with the loud sounds of fireworks, but um, but I had somebody who like closed a car door recently, and he like jumped and started to bark. So I wonder how his mindset is. Not getting anything about that in it, uh, other than it could be because of the fireworks that maybe you know, that'll wear off now that it's over. But I don't feel any emotional issues from him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, no, no traumas. Uh, and how, does, how does he feel about the pack, his Irish Terrier pack with Josh? Dogs don't carry past lives. 
Oh, no, 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 not past. Pat, a pack. Oh. There was a there was a uh, gentleman who was living with me and he had 12 dogs. And uh, he goes to visit them every now and then. Um, so the pack, the pack, it's, they were there in our house for a year. So he sees them on occasion, but I... Uh, you know what? He, he's glad they're gone. <laughs> I was going to say, I think he's happy they're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> telling me to tell you please don't do that again <laughs> oh we won't <laughs> well it's funny because my husband keeps um they keep asking us to take one of the girls back and i'm like no 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 no. cosmo wants to be his only person in that house he wants to be the one it's and only exactly what he's saying right now please no he doesn't like to share yeah yeah and he's, he's, he's really glad you know that yep <laughs> He's very happy to be the only dog. Yep. He likes to be the big man on campus, all right. <laughs> and he's very territory. I mean, uh, the whole but, Irish uh, terrier. It, well, he just likes to be the one that gets all the love. He's, he's, he's not, he's not, he's very proud to be that. He doesn't care. I want all the love. End of story. Period. <laughs> How is he with the new baby in the house? Visiting. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't mind up. the baby. Yeah, he doesn't mind the baby at all. He's willing oh, to share with the baby. That he doesn't care. Humans are fine. It's the other dogs he doesn't like. <laughs> oh God! Thank you so very much. Many blessings to you guys for your work. <laughs> there, there he, look at him. He's like marking. He's marking. <laughs> he was he was digging his feet in and uh, and marking. You know how they kick and roll around in the grass sometimes. <laughs> uh, but they're grounding themselves when they roll around. They're grounding themselves. Ah, aha! Uh -huh. I did not realize that. I just thought that they had a nice smell in the ground that they liked and were uh, just getting it like a whiff of it on their on their like their fur so that they could um, no. like smell it later. No, they're grounding themselves. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Much love. Much love to you. Bye-bye. Okay. Sophie, you had questions? Yeah, my question was um, basically, um, you know, when you have to give an animal or like a cat some medicine, and you do, I do speak to my cat and tell them, you know, this is for your own good. Is there any way you could suggest that it's a good way to communicate with your cat? And can your cat understand you? <laughs> you know, does your cat know like the language you're speaking? And um, they do. Yeah. Okay. They know exactly what you're saying, even though they act stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cats like to. Um, cats are the type that want you to think that they don't know what you're talking about <laughs> and they will ignore you and unless they're in the mood to let you know that they okay i'm, I'm listening oh no 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 they know exactly <laughs> they know and it, you're saying okay and my second question is if a cat has to travel from one house to the other do they get it that they're in a different house or are they do you think they get confused they do not get confused they never get confused the smells are totally different and they can see they can see and they can smell they know okay. and they never we have gone with our cats from arizona to california from california to florida from florida back to arizona and they have not ever gotten lost they know exactly where they are they Believe me, they've been outside, inside. They don't. They don't get lost. They know. As long as they can see you, they're happy. Okay. And um, if you, when you tell them you love them, do they get that? Like, um, and you know how cats hate being cuddled. So, is there a way that you shouldn't really, you know, overdo it with the cuddling because because they don't like it or you know? No. And telling them, telling them that you love them is the best thing that you can do. Yes. When, when we were in, we went to a temporary place in Florida before we found, we were actually homeless for a while. So we, we were like the, we were like gypsies. So we had the cats in a, we, we bought this big container that was soft sided and it had these big screened windows in it and put it in the back of the, we had a, a, a truck at the time that had a back seat and we put it in the back seat so that we didn't have, and we put all four cats in it and, and it had opened the screen up so they could see us. They, they were all four in there during the day 
as we're driving across country with them. They didn't cry once. So we thought we were going to hear criers the whole way there. As long as they could see us, they didn't cry. And we had puppy pads in there and a bowl of water and a bowl of food. They never ate the food or drank the water until we stopped at night to, to, to finally stop at a hotel somewhere to um, sleep. That's when they ate, drank, and went and went in a litter box and everything. But they would not eat or drink. So we figured that. So we went to a temporary place at um, a, 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 an old friend of ours said, "Stay here with me until you find it, until you get on your feet." It was in the middle of Florida, in, in rural Florida, that was like a jungle, <laughs> right? So we sat and talked to the cats and said, "You need to get along with each other. This is temporary." We're one family. We have to stay in this one little bedroom, so you can't fight and you can't get into it, you know, because they, they were, we knew they were going to just go nuts in this one little bedroom with us. And so I sat them down on the bed. You have to sleep with us, and you have to behave yourselves. We're one family. Don't argue. Don't scratch each other. Behave. <laughs> and it worked. We didn't have any problems with them. They didn't fight because they don't all get along. Mm. They all have to have their little spots and little spaces. And, and believe me, they did. They got along. They didn't fight. They didn't tear up it and into each other. It was amazing. So yes, they know what's going on. They know what's important, what's not, and they do um, understand. Deb, do you have a way? If there's your cat likes a certain food, but you know it's bad for them, but they always want that food, but you keep telling them no, that's bad for you. Is there a way how you would go about that? You mean cat food? Certain cat food? Yeah, no, like sometimes um, my cat's asking for some food that I'm eating and I say, no, that's bad for you. And um, then I feel a bit sorry because I don't want him to think that I don't want to give him any food, but I just know I can't give him that food because it's bad for him. And then I, I feel, you know, when you feel a bit guilty cause, because they're looking at you. <laughs> well, she might just gives it to him. So I can't even answer. I can't even respond to that because uh, in this house, he gives them everything they want. Okay. They're spoiled. He feeds them from the table. He feeds them if he's sitting on the couch. He gives it to them. So they are out of control brats. They jump <laughs> the table. They jump on the counter. They're out. They're out of control. So I, we, we can't have company because they're just beggars. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's cute. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I like your tip about the coconut um, oil because um, I might try that with my cat, definitely. It's it's great. It's great stuff. Yeah, and you could put a little bit. It gets rid of ear mites and everything. So you could put a little bit in their ear and, and really rub it down into the ear. It keeps away ear mites. It's an, a natural antibiotic. That stuff is great. And if, they, if, you, if they won't eat it, if you put it on your leg, they'll lick it off. And then you think, you wouldn't take it before. <laughs> they lick it off your leg, though. <laughs> put it on their chin. Put it on their paw. They'll lick it off their paw. Have you got any tips uh, about fleas? Because um, I know it might sound silly, but sometimes I always put my cat when he goes out in a bubble of protection, and I always say no bites on him, no you know insect bites. I'm always worried about you know because I don't know his history, but he had a lot of scratches, you know, and um, so I'm always worried about like you know bed bug bites or you know insect bites. Is there any tips? I, I'm getting a message about apple cider vinegar. I don't know why, but, but that's what I'm getting is apple cider. Okay. That's actually, you can always mix that in a bottle of water and spray it, I suppose. Yeah. I would just, and, and it's non-toxic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Deb. I really appreciate that. I want to thank everybody. This was um, very successful, I think. I was, wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, I've never done this before. I didn't even realize that uh, we could do all this. I mean, I knew I, I, I could heal animals, or we could heal these animals. I just didn't know how successful it would be in doing this and what kind of messages would come through. But your animals talk to you all the time. Um, look, look at them in the eye. They show you love all time, all the time. And, just and, then, feel and, then, and then they say, feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you can channel messages from your anim animals. Um, it's not hard. Uh, give it a try. Ask them a question and, and wait. And through your heart energy, the answer comes to you. Everybody can channel. Everyone can. I think we'll do another one of these. It'll probably be September, though, because we're going away next month to see our grandchildren. So it's, uh, it will be fun. 
we will see you in